Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I am Coach Miranda and I am bringing you part one of three of a contest slash giveaway that we are starting on our social media. We wanted to find something that was fun and engaging to bring you guys while we are at home in quarantine. So the idea is to pick out different iconic all-star cheer hair makeup looks from um, past seasons, this season and things like that that we can recreate and then kind of make a contest out of to kind of give you guys some prizes and it just helps us get creative while we're sitting at home as well as engage with you guys. Something for us to just all have fun together doing. So I'll give you guys a little rundown of how it's going to work and then we will get into um, today's video. So every Friday, I'm going to be posting two different looks on our Instagram story and our Facebook story for you guys to vote on which one you like more. And then after you guys have decided, I'm going to post a tutorial on Sunday. You will have until Thursday at 11.59 to get your submission into us. And then from there, we will choose a winner. We're doing it for the next three weeks. So this week we posted this picture of the Great Whites from a couple of years ago and we also posted this picture of Senior Elite's makeup look from this season. So after voting, the Great Whites came out with 19 votes and Senior Elite came out with 32 votes. So the Senior Elite hair makeup look is the one that I will be doing a tutorial on today. So I already curled my hair and I'm just going to pull it back and I'll do hair after I do makeup. So I'm going to start by doing my brows and then we will get into the eyes after that. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes using the um, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So I have the makeup look pulled up on my laptop and looking at it, the eye makeup looks almost kind of purple. So I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Sweet Nothings palette because it is kind of more of a mauve tone similar to the similar to the crease shade that they have for their makeup looks. So I'm going to start by going in with um, Upon a Star, which is this like kind of shimmer mauve shade. And I'm going to blend this out all over my eyelid as well as into my crease and really make it blown out everywhere and really build that color up. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Popular Demand just to kind of deepen up the um, crease a little bit more. It also looks like they do put a little bit of shimmer on their inner lid. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a dense brush and then go into the shade Mousse just to deepen out the outer half of my eyelid just a tiny bit. Okay, and now I'm going to go into this shimmer shade 1111 and apply just on the inner part of my eyelid with my finger. Then I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up my under eye just a little bit. I'm gonna prime my face using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and then I'm gonna go in do a little bit of concealing and apply my foundation um, before I start finishing up the under eye because um, the under eye I would say is a huge iconic part of this look and I want to make sure that I do it before I put on any foundation so I don't accidentally cover it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of concealing with the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer underneath my eyes. Friend. I am gonna go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation and I do have to mix it. So I'm gonna mix that up and then apply that all over my face with the same sponge.
and then I am gonna highlight underneath my eye with that same elf concealer that I used to prime my eyelids now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline fit me powder to set all of my foundation and concealer down Okay, so by looking at the under eye, it is very, very teal and very bright. Um, I don't have anything that teal, but I do have some blue, so I'm just going to work with what I have. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi-Stick, and it is in the shade Not So Calm Waters. It is a bright blue. I don't know if it's the exact same kind of teal, but it's kind of like a chubby eyeliner pencil, and I am going to go in and apply this very, very close to my lash line on my under eye, and then I'm going to blend it out with another um, eyeshadow. So the really, really small fluffy brush in this ColourPop Rendezvous palette I am gonna go into this bright shimmer teal shade and I'm going to use that to actually add some more color and then blend out the blue on my under eye. And really don't be shy with the blue on the under eye because it is a really big part of this look and they really do, if you look at the pictures, they blow those out super big and it's super dramatic and I think that's what makes this look so fun. The lid is more of like an everyday kind of look but they really really make it fun by adding that pop of blue. So don't be shy, really play with the color and just take your time to kind of blend it out. Okay, so now that I have that done, I am gonna go in with, to my inner corner and really brighten that up because their inner corner is super, super bright. So I'm gonna go back into that Rendezvous palette and I'm gonna mix this like kind of champagne shade with this really white shade. I'm going to apply that not only on my inner corner, but I'm gonna kind of bring it up onto my upper lid as well as my lower lid to meet the blue and then just kind of make a connect it to all my other eyeshadow. So to finish up the eyes, I am going to go in with some false eyelashes. These are just some eyelashes from e.l.f. and I'm going to use some duo lash glue. Um, I have not used these lashes so I'm going to really quickly cut them to fit my eyes and then apply them and then we will come back, finish up the eyes and finish up the face. My lashes on and lashes are very much optional for this look but I felt like they were very much needed because this is super glamorous. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, mascara on my bottom lashes and then we'll come back and finish up the face. So first for the face, I'm going to bronze using my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And for blush, I'm going to go in with my Gold Rush blush, which is also from Benefit. And then last for highlight, I am actually going to mix the same two shades that I used for my inner corner um, to highlight my cheekbones. And then last, I am going to go ahead and do my lips. Um, they do use a really dark shade, so I'm going to go with my, um, used to be Kat Von D, but I think it's now KVD Vegan Beauty lips, Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to use the shade Lolita. Okay, so now that makeup is all done, I'm going to quickly do my hair so i did already curl it um i'm not gonna do anything crazy they just do the classic curly pony so first i'm gonna go in with some texture spray and this is from bubble and bumble if you don't have texture spray you can use um dry shampoo to or even hairspray to just texturize your hair a little bit okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up into a really really high ponytail and before i put it into um Put my ponytails in i am gonna go in and kind of take out some little baby hairs to frame around my face because i'm doing such a high tight pony so now i'm gonna put my hair up okay, 
so I am gonna go back in with my texture spray and I'm going to take my ponytail this way. I'm going to take my ponytail and split it in half into a top section and a bottom section. I'm going to lay my top section to the side. I'm going to take my bottom section and split that into another top and bottom section. And I'm going to spray texture spray at the root where like my ponytail holder is and then kind of fluff it out and lay it down. And then I'm going to take that top section. I'm gonna spray that one as well. And then I'm going to take a comb. I'm gonna take a comb and tease near the root just a little bit to kind of add some volume. And then I'm going to take that top half section, split it into another top and bottom section. I'm not gonna mess with the very top section because I don't want it to look super knotted or anything. I'm gonna spray some more texture spray. Take my comb, tease it just a little bit, and then take this top section and lay it over the entire ponytail just to make my ponytail look a little bit bigger. Okay, so I tried to move into a different area because I feel like the sunlight's really washing the makeup look out, but this is the finished hair and makeup. It's just a very high curly pony. And then um, my best recreation of the Senior Elite makeup look. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This is my version of the Senior Elite hair and makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I really can't wait to see your recreations. Again, the only rules for our contest are just make sure that you like our Facebook page or our Instagram and then either tag us or send us a photo of your version of this look and then you will be entered into win. And this week we will be giving away a $10 Dunkin' Donuts gift card that will be emailed directly to you. We will announce the winner on Friday morning um, right before we post the next poll of makeup looks. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you liked today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you know whenever we post our next contest and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.